he was there. I didn't make it up, I'm sure. Now, of course, I've just got to get through this bush. Where has she gone? There was a hyena right here somewhere. <laughs> this two seconds has now disappeared. Maybe it's gone round the mound somewhere on the other side, but there was one lying just underneath this green tree that you see, and it must have stood up and moved, but I'm trying to scan all around me, and I can't see any sign of a hyena moving in this area. Hmm. Oh, there it is. There. I can see Intima coming out now, so they, maybe they are around the other side where the shade is. Hello, Intima. Intima's coming to say hello to all of you. There we go, coming around the bush, just poking his head out. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> She's so curious. She always comes out and has a little look just to make sure that we're not up to no good. So she's now off and moving and checking around. I wonder if the rest of them are lying behind there somewhere. She's busy sniffing. Now I apologize about the millions of branches in the way. I'm sorry Senzo, I'm not making it easy for you. But I thought that they were going to be a little bit more out in the open from where I am. It seems as though they're a bit more hidden. So I might have to reposition just now. Let's just see where Intima goes. Intima might be curious enough to actually come towards where we are and come and say hello properly. She often does come waddling along towards the car just to see everything and check everything out and sniff around and make sure that she's on top of the situation as the older of the siblings here. Oh no, now she's laid down. But you can see how they can disappear even in this grass. That's how you do it. You just lie down in long, thick grass. You can imagine finding leopards, lions, even hyenas in this, these kind of conditions is almost impossible. Right, Senzo, I think we're going to have to rethink this because where we are now is in fact no good whatsoever. We're going to have to try and just reposition ourselves, but at least there are some hyenas at the den. It's fantastic news. So I'm going to try and see if I can't get Rusty into reverse. There we go, Rusty's now into reverse. Senzo, I think we're going to try and go through here, which is going to be a little thick, so I do apologize. This is very thick through here. Okay, now the mission today is to try and keep all parts of Rusty and me and Senzo and earpieces and cables intact because we've had a bad week. Ah, there we go. Now we've got our hyena just here. That's the one that obviously walked away. Is that Ribbon or is it Gwen? I can't see nicely. All I can see is their back poking out in the grass. Oh, you're right there, Senzo. Senzo's busy battling a thorn tree, and it looks possibly like it's Gwen. I can't see nicely at all. Like I say, my angle, all I've got is this little spotted fur coat between the branches. There we go. So it is a adult hyena. Uh, are you Gwen or are you Riven? I think it's Gwen. Looks like Gwen. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can help me out, hashtags for live, whether it's Gwen or Ribbon, but it's one of them and they obviously are having a very big nap, which is quite common for this time of the day. You'll find that these guys will sleep quite a bit at this time. They'll only wake up once the sun starts to set and which time they'll go towards the den and call the little ones and the little ones will come out to get a feed and then mom is off to go and try and find food and to go and check around and probably to go and torment Taylor because... Ribbon and Gwen spend a lot of time around the camp and they are constantly dragging bins and all kinds of other things which means that Taylor is constantly on guard and having to do night patrol and check out and make sure that these guys don't eat and chew and break and maim our rubbish bins and kitchen area so certainly do keep Taylor busy at night. I would imagine though that with this wind, this is going to be fairly typical, a lot of the predators is just hunkering down in thick grass waiting for the wind to die. Raiza, are you wondering where the main den site is with the matriarch? Raiza, that is a fantastic question and I wish I knew the answer to it because we have no idea where the matriarchal females are denning at the moment. We've looked, we've checked, we constantly keep checking the older dens just to make sure that there isn't any sign of Pretty and Madam and, and the rest of them. But at this stage, no sign 
of where they are. So I have no idea where that den is. We see them a lot more towards the south of the reserve, so I hypothesize that their den might be off our southern boundary in Hofmans and Little Gari, somewhere there. But that's not confirmed in any way, and it could just be a complete load of rubbish. But given that their tracks go back and forth from that side, and you, you see them a lot crossing from Trias southwards, and it's particularly because I've seen them a lot of mornings going from Treehouse southwards that I would think that the den is somewhere that side. But I, c 